everyone and welcome back to Sims 3 the 101 Dalmatians challenge and we are here with a very happy Roger who is rocking away at his drum set right now because he actually has a chance to play the drums with so many puppies and so many babies poor Roger has been so busy he has hardly been able to get his skills up so I'm gonna try to leave him here long enough that he can finish working on this little uh, like uh, I almost said hunting because I was thinking about the dogs <laughs> so he can finish working on this drumming skill but he's doing really great and we're basically picking up where we left off before but I have done some pretty awesome things that I will show you guys in just a second also I thought it was really cool Anita actually came up to watch him play the drums and she seems to be having a really good time so I think she's kind of realizing that one of the things that she really fell in love with Roger over was his passion for music and he has not had a chance to work on completing his lifetime wish of his one sim band reaching the mastery level on the bass guitar drums and piano skills because he's been so busy like with the farm and the family. So I think Anita's kind of realizing she really wants to see her husband be able to spend a lot of time just kind of working on all of his music skills that he can relax. The kids are getting a little older. Things are a little easier to handle even though she is expecting baby number four now which is so exciting. Yay! Oh gosh. But yes, that is happening and the dogs are turning into hunting machines. They have been going around collecting like the relic pieces you need to make these special relics. Oh no, somebody kicked our gnome. I'll pick him up in a minute. The special fossils, so many space rocks. Look at all these space rocks. And I didn't know it. And then when I was looking up information about space rocks, yes, space rocks do dramatically increase the chances of having a sim abducted. So I want to have tons of them around the lot because I think that's a really cool thing to do. A great way to try to become friends with our alien friends who are like alien dog lovers who take all of our Dalmatians for us. And also space rocks actually end up... Um, you can come over with a sim and you can analyze them to see what kind of space rock they are. So I think we will do that with some of the smaller ones when we find them because I don't want to mess with the big ones because I really love them. But I'm definitely going to leave the space rocks kind of decorating the yard. And I went ahead and cleared out all the dogs inventories and we built a new little display area for the things that the puppies will bring home. So they are constantly finding like special rocks and gems and metals. So I went ahead and I got some of the Around the Sims uh, chest, which I love. Oh my gosh, I love these things because you can put anything you need to inside of the inventory here. So in these chests, we now have, ta-da, all of the different metals and gems that we don't want to put on display. I've had Roger like build, in quotation marks, some really nice little shelves that we can show off like some of the best things, like this beautiful soul piece. Oh my gosh, look at it. It glows with this gorgeous, I mean, look at it. Oh my gosh, it's just so freaking pretty. That is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So we're showing off the soul piece. We're showing off like the pink diamond, this diamond, um, the Tiberium, just because it's, it's pretty, it's green. There's a geode over here and you can get the geode cut into like split cuts. So I think I might go ahead and do that even though the geode that's just for fun but i'm gonna say the little terry here i'm gonna have him get the geode cut actually because i think he would keep it in his room as like a treasure of his since he's such an outdoor lover we've also got the really beautiful rainbow gem up here some woohoonium and we've got the really really expensive supernovium and i'm still not 100 percent clear on like if smelting down the metals makes them more valuable or not so what i did is over in mr rogers in inventory here. Oh my gosh, she's got so many things I need to put away. So many things. Oh my goodness, Roger, what are you doing with all these books? But in his inventory, I put in some of the cheapest of the metals and the gems that we've found so far because I found out that to get those special unique cuts that can give you so much money when you send the gems in to be cut, you need to send in lots of gems to be cut. And the more gems you send in to be cut, the more cuts you unlock. And it makes a lot of sense once you start doing it. Most of you guys who are familiar with Sims 3 already know this. I'm still a novice after all these years because there's so much to the game, just infinite amounts of things to find to do. And let's see. Yeah, that's what we did there. I also got a cardboard box that we can just shove like extra pieces like I don't know like things we're not using that the family wants to keep like the high school diplomas can go in here from mom and dad perfect mom and dad's old high school diplomas can be shoved in the old cardboard box up in the attic which I thought was really cool and then over in the house I went ahead and added in these backpacks which are chests 
that we put inside of the kids room so this is terry's in his favorite color of green and meredith's in her favorite color of blue so any cool things that the kids kind of find and gather like ah oh, dang it i can't open it with the kids but let's go ahead open like Terry's little tunneling when he gets home he's off lot so I can't put it away right now but when he gets home we can put like his little tunneling away in here or maybe one of his favorite toys uh, maybe some of his paintings in the future so these are basically going to be a little private areas where the kids can sort of like hide away the things that make them unique and, and them and I really love that and then downstairs I even added in these shelves these are both actually chests i love around the sims i've loved her since she was doing like sims 2 stuff it's been amazing but you can open this up and it's a vegetable storage area but it also looks a lot like the drawers that my mom has for her craft stuff so i put that in here for anita to just be able to store whatever she wants to in here and then this is book storage where she can store any like a book she wants to put away and i was going to put all her books away in there until i remembered the that's what a bookshelf is for and then everybody can read from them so i did that Oh, and Anita, you were supposed to. Oh, wait, no, no. Bridget also bought a couple books that Anita is going to give as a gift to Meredith because she wants to give a gift to Meredith because Meredith just had her birthday. So long introduction. Sorry about that. I'm just super excited because I found out about all these new things and it got me really pumped. And I also figured out what the miner is for. And so we're going to use the miner with Roger as a way to try to like supplement some income into the family household. Oh, and Bridget just drove past some wild horses. Oh, they all did. That's so cool. Terry, you wanted to see a wild horse. Where was it? Was it on the bridge? Where the heck? Yep, there's a wild horse on the bridge. That's fine. That's happening. So we saw a wild horse on his way back home from school. That's cute. Well, he wants to do his homework. The animal rescuer. You have a soft spot for animals of all shapes and sizes. To see one being mistreated, abandoned, or neglected, it breaks your heart. That's why you've made it a personal mission to adopt as many pets as you can to make their world a little brighter. Adopt six strays. <gasps> Terry! virtuoso daredevil loves the outdoors and he probably just thought that horse was like abandoned or something and wants to rescue it that is so perfect oh my gosh you know what we're gonna go for it that is terry's very first lifetime wish and i think we can actually get that done in his childhood because it's something that a kid would definitely do so we're gonna go ahead terry now wants to be an animal rescuer i think we're probably gonna start with this cat because <laughs> this cat's been here forever so probably gonna start with this cat pretty soon. All right, Bridget is now home. Oh, and then also Meredith is actually bringing home Jared Cagle, who is one of the two Cagle kids. So we're basically gonna try to adopt the Cagle kids because their parents are really mean and nasty and fighting all the time and yell at the kids too, which is a big no-no in my opinion. So yeah, Cagle kids are gonna be gonna be let's see, uh, like pretty much adopted by Anita into the family. All right, Bridget, you're going to go ahead and do a little bit of cleaning, or actually I'm going to have her take care of the baby really quickly. I love this family. They're just so cool. All right, baby needs taken care of. Get a bottle. And don't heckle the baby. Oh, my gosh. Snuggle. Snuggle. So we'll take care of the baby down here. Anita wants to eat mac and cheese. Oh, look at all the kidlets come over. Chance Kegel just got was late to his job. Oh my gosh. The Kegel family is just bad news. Bears. I'm glad Jared's over. All right, Terry. I want you to hurry and invite your friend Tisha over. There we go. Invite her over. Meredith, you're happy to be home. I guess meeting a rebel could be like could count as meeting the Kegels. She wants to talk about her imaginary friend. Let's have her friendly. Um can we talk about ask a pillow fight? I want to have her talk about her imaginary friend. How do we do that? How about just like get to know because Kate like yay Tisha's on her way over. Chat. All right, Anita, why don't you come down? Oh no, Tisha! Actually, something suddenly came up and I can't make it. Sorry. No, Tisha, come on, Tisha, you can do it. You don't worry about your family. You can do it. I'm so worried that Tisha's like in trouble with her parents or something friendly do homework there we go oh tisha okay i'm really worried about tisha we'll have to see if we can take care of her meanwhile we're gonna have um anita come down and work with cherry on his homework all right oh it's so fun to have new stuff and have everything organized and have all these gigantic space rocks good the baby's being taken care of 
Roger's super happy. His skills are just shooting up. Oh, look, Pongo's coming to hang out with him. So cool. He wants to talk to Rolly, see Terry get on the honor roll, play a game with Terry. Eh, what's this about? All right, he's going to answer his little phone. What's this about, huh? Davine Davis. No, go away. Roger does not want to go on a date with you. All right. Then I'm going to send... I'm going to let Pongo actually sleep on the couch while listening to his owner, his master, play the drums. Because I think that he'll have fun with that. All right. Rolly, how you doing? All right. They're doing good. The dogs... Look at Pongo climb up on the little couch to listen to his master. Oh, he's, his adventurous skill goes up for climbing on the couch. That's interesting. All right. I have no idea what Anita is doing. Oh, they're all celebrating about the new objects. All right. Come down here and help with his homework. Can she not do that? Family oriented. Uh, do homework. Oh, no. She told him to do his homework. I get it now. I get it now. But she's not like mentoring him on that. All right. Let's go ahead. There's still good waffles left, so we'll just leave that out for food. Good, so the Kegels, like, she's getting along with him pretty well. Um, she wants to talk about her imaginary friend. Friendly, maybe share a secret? They're getting to know really well. Compliment. So these two are having a great time. I'm glad. The Kegels need, like, a good influence in their life. Anita is snoozy because she's, again, pregnant. Oh, and I put out some of the flowers that Roger gave her there. Skittles is having issues. Oh, she's telling secrets to her new friend. So fun. All right, friendly. Still can't do anything. Maybe get to know again. Can you do anything fun? Why don't you guys go play, like, rock, paper, scissors or something for a little bit? It is a Friday night, so we're going to work on that. A Friday night and Terry's doing his homework first thing. Good kid. Good. Pongo can sleep through this. Thunder is just coming up to see what all this noise is about. Oh, Thunder, how'd you get fleas again? Dang it. All right. Roger must be having a great time. He is just getting his skills, like, through the roof. Oh, my gosh. So he's having a good time there. Bridget, I'm actually going to have you bathe Thunder in a little bit. So we'll worry about that in a bit. I'm so happy about this. That Meredith and Jared are becoming good friends. That is so good. Jared, you can spend the night too. I'm totally okay with that. I wonder if she can only maybe tell a funny story. She's very excitable. She's still excited about growing up. All right. Anita is passed out. Snoring away here. That's adorable. Bridget's taking care of the baby. Good. I'll have to have Bridget come give this little buddy a flea bath in a minute. Don't play with your brother. Don't nuzzle your brother when you you need a flea bath. Oh, gosh. All right. Everybody's doing good. Um, Acquaintance. I want these two to be friends. <gasps> Tell ghost story. Give gift. Can Does she have anything we can have her give a gift to? No, she really doesn't have anything in her inventory that we could really give away as a gift. So, um, get to know a little bit more. Friendly. Just chat, maybe. All right, how's the baby? Andrea, you're okay. We'll give you a little snuggle and put you in the crib. Your mom can come and deal with you in a little bit. Gonna have you clean that up. And Roger's just busy drumming away. Perdita is also pregnant, too. So I'm gonna have her go ahead. <gasps> snuggle pet! Snuggle with Skittles! Snuggle with Skittles! That'll be so cute! Skittles, wherever you are, you're coming to snuggle with your mom. Oh, Skittles is tired too, so it's the perfect time. Hi, baby Skittles. We haven't really spent a lot of time looking at you. But you are so cute. You are so cute. Dang it, Bridget. Did you really? You did. Really? Well, Roger's gonna have to fix that now. Oh, well, we need... Let's see. Rolly is snoozing. Gotta wake him up. And there's Thunder. He's chasing this little ball. So I'm gonna have her come over. Give a flea bath to Thunder. Come on, Rolly. You need to eat and chew on things. There we go. Anita's good. Oh, I'm so glad Meredith is making a new friend. They can like pillow fight and everything. Can they play tag? They're really getting along. Oh, she wants to play tag with him on her own. 
That is so cute. <laughs> Meredith is very friendly. I thought she was going to be shy and kind of antisocial, but she's actually super friendly. All right. Oh, look at this. Adopt a stray. Oh, gosh. That's what Terry wants to do. He's also having fun. You know what? Let's go ahead. And Terry needs to, like, collect a rock. Let's have him collect this rock. That looks like another space rock. <gasps> is that really another space rock? Terry, come collect this, and you can probably have an alien sibling sooner than later. All right. Come over here and gather this up. Oh, there's another one of those weird little glowy things. So we're going to let him go ahead and run around kind of collecting things up. Roger's having a great time, but he probably needs to stop soon so he can bathe and everything. But his drumming skill is going up. So that is fantastic. Good, good, good. His drumming skill is really going up. Terry's coming over. He just collected a rock finally. Come here, Terry. And it is a large space rock. Sweet. Oh, that's so much fun. He wants to adopt a stray. And you know what? I think we're going to do it. He wants to befriend a stray. Oh, all right. We're going to have him go ahead and grab that too. He wants to sing karaoke. You're such a kid, Terry. All right. We're going to send him over here to collect more of these interesting little things because I think they catch his eye. I don't know. I originally was thinking, oh, look at the waterfall in the distance. Jeez Louise, that's pretty. Originally, I was thinking maybe maybe we would end up like having him do something with like the future because he's been collecting these little things but as cool as they are i think that terry might actually be oh that's so cool that is just so cool ah terry i'm stuck in the water down here buddy sorry about the slowness i think he might be totally suited because he wants to like help out a bunch of strays to take up the family like burdens of let's see uncommon seed can't collect it bunch of nanites so cool and he just found carbon steel not bad man he is a little collector i love it let's also send him over what's this it's a mushroom but we're gonna send him over he's super tired but i want to just say hello to this cat that's been like over here forever because you guys i think we might end up with a kitty cat over here what's this on the ground interesting it looks like a bunch of cats like barf perhaps and there's a little chipmunk um oh and here's another he will say he was chasing after these little tunneling things and that's how he got introduced to the cat so affection feed treat affection talk to care brush so we're gonna send him over to try to hang out with this cat and see what happens he might get the chipmunk while we're at it too so that could be a lot of fun all right meredith is doing her homework all by herself good job meredith Where'd your little friend go? Who knows? He might have headed home. Is he over here? Nope, that's Anita. Nope, there he is, Jared! You can spend the night if you want to. Oh, she's trying to read him to sleep. Oh, I think that sends pretty strong messages about what Anita wants to do with the Kegel children, is keep them. Keep them and protect them and take care of them. All right, Bridget's over here just enjoying reading a book. I'm just gonna leave her be. Let's see. Look at him! Jared is spending the night all on his own. Oh, Roger had a cold shower. All right, Roger, I'm going to have to have you come over here. Repair this. Sorry, buddy. All right, Terry, how are you doing with the stray cat? <gasps> he's brushing the little stray kitty cat. Oh, he's a chick magnet. Chicks flock to you. He's got that from the, the chickens. That's adorable. Hello. Hello, little stray kitty. Feed treat. Let's sniff hand. You've been over here for forever. That's a nasty pile of nasty right there. Just saying. I'll have to send an adult over to clean that up. So this is his first time meeting this little stray cat. There we go. Stray cat. Familiar cat. It doesn't really say what kind of relationship these guys have. Some sims might say that stray pets look mangy and are likely to bring nothing but trouble and fleas. Your sim, however, sees in its sad eyes the potential uh, to make a true friend. Your, fr your sim wants to befriend a stray. This is the perfect thing for Terry to do. Isn't it just perfect? Let's feed another treat. Oh my goodness. Is that like a little, oh, hello. Oh my goodness. The friend of strays. That's what this guy would be called. All right, hang on. I want to see if I can get the chipmunk in the picture, too. Oh, what a fun little twist for Terry. I didn't see this quite happening this way. 
where he ends up being like the friend of the strays. But I guess seeing that wild horse all on its own while he was on his way home from school really had a huge impact on him. I guess we could try catching this little chipmunk. <laughs> all right, let's see. And then we'll send him home. Yay, he got a little chipmunk, awesome. Let's go ahead and send him home. We don't really have the money to get the things we need to take care of the chipmunk right now. But if we sold some of the family stuff that we've been hoarding, then we probably could. All right, let's see. How's everybody doing? Somebody is feeling pretty nauseous. Oh my goodness. And Meredith is being read to bed by Bridget in their parents' bed. That's adorable. Brid Bridget's going to have to sleep on the couch tonight. Where's Jared? Jared, where are you? Oh, he's playing outside. Can we invite him to spend the night? Is this something we can do? Friendly? Do you want to sleep over? Yes, that's what I want. That's what I want. Okay, Bridget. Bridget. Enough reading. Enough reading, Bridget. We need to see if we can get this little kid to stay over. Come over here. I need some leftover, like, sandwiches. All right. So much to do. Terry, hey. He wants to sleep in the treehouse. If that's what you want to do, buddy, you do it. I actually am totally okay with the kids sleeping in the treehouse. I imagine Anita would make sure there's plenty of, like, things to keep them warm out there. All right. Well, we have not done any... Oh, snuggling with Skittles. Oh, my gosh. Look at happy mama. Perdita is a good mama. I bet she misses some of her babies. All right. Pongo's still upstairs. We're going to send him off to get to work because we need him to start. Let's see, We need him. Oh, and Thunder just saw a deer. Cool. Where's the deer? Thunder, where's the deer? Who knows? The last time we saw a deer, Anita went into labor. Oh, and this time we saw a deer. Anita is aware of the fact that she is now pregnant, I think. Yep, and Meredith is having a sleepover with Jared, so he is really looking forward to spending the night here. And Anita is now craving cheesesteak, <laughs> probably because she just realized, hey, I'm going to have a baby. All right, we're going to have her mop up these puddles really quickly. All right, and Roger, we'll send you to bed. Anita just found out she's pregnant and she's super happy. And there we go. All right. Oh, there we go. Roger, he wants to have a boy this time. How exciting. Oh, my goodness. All right. We're going to go ahead and put that up as one of the main options. And Anita, she also wants to have a little boy this time. Oh, goodness. That's so exciting. Oh, Anita, what to do with you? I want... Ah, uh, pet Perdita. Where's Perdita? Mm, I really want her to be able to pet Perdita. Um, all right. We'll do that in just a second. Let her eat, and then we'll pet Perdita. So that's wonderful. And Jared, I hope he is finding somewhere to sleep. Where did Meredith go? Who knows? She's coming in. She's just really tired. <gasps> oh my gosh, Meredith, when did this happen? Oh my goodness, Meredith, when did this even happen? She's just like having a good time. Preside over the Ryle Court. I didn't even see when she decided to change into this little outfit. But it's adorable. Oh my gosh, Meredith. You are so cute. You are so cute. I love how this like, as time goes on, this challenge has become kind of a blend of The Sims 3 Generations and The Sims 3 Pets. All right. Meredith, you are so freaking cute. And you need to go to bed. I'm going to send her upstairs to go to sleep. And you're going to sleep in your own bed right there. The baby needs some attention. She's hungry, needs attention. Um, Anita, you're all done eating your sandwich. So I'm going to send you... Oh, she doesn't have the desire to have a boy anymore. Dang it. I knew I should have moved faster. Oh, well. I'll take care of Anita in just a moment. Gosh, there's just so much going on. So what we will be working on with Terry is definitely befriending some of those strays and playing with his little rodents and things like that. We'll probably have the cat move in if we can find... Um, I don't think there's stray horses, though. So we'll have to see how that goes. We'll probably end up with a lot of strays. We might even end up with some dogs born, like if some stray dogs move in that aren't like part of the 101 Dalmatians challenge. So we're just going to have to see how that goes. All right, Bridget is taking good care of the baby. Good. Anita, why don't you come over 
find Perdita and give her a quick pet just so that we can have that taken care of. Let's see. Um, affection. Hug. Affection. Pet. Ooh, it must be getting cold. You can see the dog's breath. All right, and then we'll just have to see. Maybe Perdita changed her mind. Maybe she's like, maybe I don't want to have a boy. So we'll have to see what happens. And Roger, Roger, poor Roger. So I didn't get a chance to this time because we were so busy just with all the, the stray animal befriending and whatnot. But next time I'm going to have Roger send in all of these things to get cut and so on. Yay, and Perdita now knows she's pregnant. That's so exciting. So we know Perdita is expecting more puppies. So that's really fun. All right, let's feed you a treat. And let's do smoochy. Little smoochy and rub your little belly. Oh, and there's babies being born in town. That's so fun. All right, let's see. Clean the dishes. We can totally do that. And yeah, these two are having a good time. So pregnancies are progressing, which is really fun. Anita's getting closer and closer to being surrounded by family, which is really what she wants more than anything else. Yeah, isn't that right? Isn't that right, Perdita? Perdita is going to have another litter. She is getting on there in age, so she probably won't have many puppies, but she's up to 12 puppies born to her line, so that's pretty exciting. And Pongo? Pongo. Oh, he's off to nuzzle one of his babies. Well, that's okay. I'll leave him be. I'm going to have them do some hunting later. But yeah, next time I will definitely be having Roger go ahead and work on sending out those gemstones and work on sending out those... Um, like metal pieces so I can see what their worth is, get the cuts up. And then I'm also going to have him play with the miner a little bit because I've never played with this thing. So I think it'd be really fun. And I hear you can actually dig holes in between two locations in town and then use those holes to like travel quickly through the locations. So I think that would be pretty interesting. All right, so let's pop back over here. We also need to befriend an alien. Befriending an alien apparently tremendously relays re uh, raises there we go your opportunity of getting abducted too so that would be really fun as well and just keeping an eye on the puppies yay happy people there we go there's the have a boy okay mop up this puddle quick mop up this puddle quick because i want to i want to lock that in i want to lock that in and then i might have her like do some reading on her skill there so now they have got two girls, one boy, and they're hoping that this next one will be another little boy. And apparently there's a deer jumping around. I think it's really funny the deer always show up when Anita like figures out she's pregnant or she's like going to have her baby. So that's pretty fun. But all right, guys, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.